So. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Disc, Wario Main, <laughs> farting on people all across the nation. <laughs> I'd also like to give a, give a shout out to Pella here. Oh, there's no, like, no. I don't know if there's, well, uh, yeah, there's a GoPro right here. A GoPro? Yeah. Oh, it's definitely it's a GoPro. GoPro. No, it's not a GoPro. <laughs> oh, that's a nice looking GoPro. Oh, switching to Zero Suit Samus. Let's see how that Big switch, big switch. So this is no longer a low tier match. Um, it's ranked 39. Serious business. SRS is close. All right, and we've made the score updated. One zero. So, men who believe the stages are particularly bad for Zero Suit, but it seems we're going to smash the world to the neutral stage, so we'll see how this fares out. Old Cena, or rather, Max may be capable of. I'm just getting to come out. Alright, commentating streak is done. Over. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't come and give us all the races, man. No, get, get over here. Get over here. Gavin. Yeah, so, uh, no, come on. We're going to commentate Justin. Alright. What's up? This is some, uh, memes. Alright. I'm Pella here. This is Gavin. And, uh, Oh shit. That up smash. Oh. This is so laggy. Alright, that was nice. That was not nice. I like the little character things. Those are new too. I think this, uh, I think the zero six damage is just spamming random moves and hoping it works. Sorry, Jason. Alright, that was. Yeah, I didn't it's just What do you think? Alright, that was a grab. That was an up smash. That was a down smash. <laughs> If he kills now, he could do it. But then you gotta hit some like random, like crazy, stupid thing. All right, if that worked. Oh, right, it's gonna do it. The kill. Oh, 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 Meg. All right, you gotta bring it back. He's, oh, I'm not gonna bring him. Oh, oh snap. The rage come back. Come on, you go. Oh. Alright. Shut up, five! Can I get Shy versus Slim? I think I'm wrong. Oh, that's it. No! Mags. Mags takes a 2 0 over Omega. Set up two! Can I get Dazwa versus Cherry? Cherry's like, what? So that guy's there? Yeah. Yeah. Which one is he? He's like, he's like, he's like, Okay. On stream, can I get Burr versus Pell here? Okay, so we're gonna have Burr versus Pell here? I don't know. I think I misheard him. Yeah, this is commentary. They can hear us. Yeah, I have to face Kula. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. The upset's coming up. I don't know. Does he know? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Nobody knows I have the best matchup against Sonic. Oh. 
I don't know, man. I've seen him beat some uh, <laughs> people before. Right, okay, so we have Burb versus. Um, Dazwa, I think. I'm not no, sure. it, it wasn't Dazwa. It was some other guy. I don't remember. I think I misheard his tag. Uh, is oh, it it's Pele it's here. Oh, Pele. On setup three, Fun fact, get Rarin um, JPEG. Disc practices with Pele here, and Disc is another 603 guy. He's a really good Wario man. He just going, he's going solo Wario. But, okay, so we got Burb and Pele here. Didn't he get like fifth last time he came here? Burb? Disc. Oh, Disc? Uh, yeah, last time he came here, he did get fifth, and he like just beat me. Oh, wow, that's cool. They have little like icons. They have like a Falco <laughs> and Palutena icon. I didn't know that. <laughs> No, I, I didn't notice that till now. <laughs> oh. You practice with that guy. <laughs> what was that noise? Okay, so I guess they're just gonna do stage striking. Um. So wait, who who's Burb playing? Rosalina? Yep, Burb has switched his main to Rosalina. And uh, I think Pele here just uses Villager. I'm, I think I've fought him before. But I, yeah, he uses Villager. He's a pretty good Villager main. So right now, the general matchups against Villager right now. Yeah. Um, Rosalina and Luma does beat Villager. Right now you just see Rosalina's got an amazing neutral game. I don't know the exact matchup. I saw a matchup chart like of Rosalina's matchups that like the buzz made just like a couple days ago. Oh that was good. Um I saw that a couple days ago and I just can't remember where Villager is on it. I feel like they're slightly even but Rosalina just edges it out being able to um get rid of all Villager's projectiles. Yeah even he may be able to like throw them back but um Rosalina really can just get rid of them. So we're seeing right now oh, Burb is taking it. Yeah, Burb is having a very convincing lead, but I don't know, that's pretty much <laughs> it. Tag, honorable mention. <laughs> yeah, he's super proud about it. <laughs> I wonder if Spike oh! Yeah, oh, but Villager. Yeah, Villager's always Villager. gonna come back unless it just sends him to like the void. Yeah. Oh, oh no wait. he's coming back. You know, he oh. could have he could have sent Villager down again, but I don't know why he didn't. He could have just jumped from ledge and just yeah. down there. Villager's recovery is pretty exploitable. Yeah. And is that going to oh, be... Up nope. smash, no. Down it. One Ooh. thing uh, Burb doesn't do is he doesn't do the um, send Luma out, and then, you know, the jab release into up smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so good. But he doesn't do it. I don't even know if it's confirmed or not. But it's confirmed on some percent. I think there's like a... It's like a 75... Chance it's not like a 50 50. Oh, bowling ball. That was take nice. Dog. That was nice. Straight from the ledge, too. And we'll see if Burb can uh, carry it out all, all the way. Take game oh, one. Oh, that was good. That was a good setup. Oh, oh, no. oh, Whoa, what? 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 What was How that? that? That was at 70. Yeah, that should not have killed. Whoa. Now, like Rosalina's moves, they have tons of knockback. Like up air, that down was air, ridiculous. Down air apparently has a ton of knockback. I've never seen that. I've never seen like anybody do that. Yeah, like, the no, buzz. that's like kind of that stuff that you see. Like, uh, remember, have you seen that gif of like Mewtwo King uh, using up B as Cloud, and the second hit just sends him. Yeah, I can save at like a super early percent. That's what that was, except it was real and on. That killed it. Uh, his up B, Cloud's up B kills at zero sometimes on the ledge. That was ridiculous. You need to converse safe. This is just like uh, this is like melee Roy's reverse. <laughs> yeah. Okay, All right. so here we go again. We're gonna see an upset here. It's Bird. Surprisingly, uh, Pelly here didn't change. Like usually when you lose, you just want to get a counter pick in. Eh. And I mean, when Rosalina loses to a character, she really loses to that character, and that's why I think it's really important if you lose to a Rosalina to probably just switch. Oh what? What? Oh, that was jank. He, we had a no. He he was high up. Uh, he was high up enough. Set up one. Can I get? Well, just, I just think that was really jank. He's not going for these edge guards. You know that's a problem I see with a lot of our players in main that they just don't go off stage. And a lot of people make those complaints like that. You know main players need to go off stage and edge guard. And Villager has an exploitable recovery. You can edge guard yeah. pretty well. 
if he's not already on the ledge. Yeah. Even then. I don't know why he's not going for it. But overall, he's playing solidly. Yeah, he is he's playing not pretty like, well. He's got like a little lead right now. He's not putting himself in risky situations. Yeah. Jeez, I didn't know that. Um, that jab to up air was actually a combo. That was that surprised me. It's cool. It's pretty flashy. <laughs> So one thing I know about Burb is he always likes to have his Luma right with him. Like oh, always. Net Luma's he gone. uses his Luma more as a, um, you know, like a Meat a shield, shield yeah. than a. Uh, oh, he's just spam. Oh, whoa! All right, he did three of those. And yeah, he just Burb fell just for that. That was in. definitely his fault. I was like, is he gonna, he's gonna he, keep? Uh, he's gonna oh, keep forward smashing. He that can't Luma feel bad. Dead. Yeah, he can't oh, feel no. bad about getting hit by that because that was his fault. On setup two, can I get Mr. Ryan so I guess, I guess now we're seeing him use Luma more as like an attack, like long range. Let's see if he can bring this back. I think I know that might that, have. I think that might have hurt his momentum. Rosalina definitely just wants like an up smash or an up area now to just finish the stock, and then he doesn't want to take much more damage. I mean, 43% is already kind of pushing it to have a pretty good lead next game. I mean, next stock. Yeah, and so, I, I don't see it. Oh, he did it there, but he doesn't, oh, he doesn't really go. gout. Or what is it called when the down B? Hmm? Rosalina's down B? His down B what? What is What's that the called? Tree? No, Rosalina's. Oh, I have no clue. But I, don't, I think he could be using that more. Uh, he could, but he's not really getting hit by many projectiles anyways, so I don't feel like... He, I don't feel like he technically needs to, because it is pretty punishable. Ooh, gotta watch out for that tree. Yeah, so... I think you should just send out Luma there and just jab the tree. It's definitely gonna be an uphill battle for Bird. Because, um... He took all that damage. Uh, oh, he's oh, done. He's done. Yeah, that I was about smash takes both. <laughs> I was about to say, he has rage. He yeah, can, that he was can make bad. something happen. He got up there. Burb's gotta stop falling for these up smashes if he wants to pull this around. But Pele here is doing his job. I think one thing I noticed about Burb is he's using, um, he's trying, he's throwing out smash attacks and they're hitting, but um, they get stale, they get staled out. It does get stale, but he needs to, I like, think he only, them. he only really spams it when they're at a high percent and they know it's gonna kill. So. He knows that it will stale, but it'll still kill even at max stale. Which is like, you can throw out nine moves and as long... Actually, I just remembered, no, it doesn't stale because you have to actually hit their shield or hit a certain item for it to stale, otherwise it's not going to stale. I just feel like instead of throwing out smash attacks that haven't killed... Oh wait, he switched to Cloud. What? He switched to Cloud. Oh. Uh, I think, I think I this don't. is done for Verb. I think this might be Rip. Well, no, I think Cloud actually, it's not as bad for Cloud against Villager as a lot of people think, because I know Cloud's recovery is really bad, but, no. Um, and Villager can really exploit that with his, uh, like, forward air. But he's got a really good neutral game, and as long as he can, like, stay up on the stage, uh, it's not going to be too hard for him. Does Burb actually have the Cloud, though? Is this just, like, he just picked this randomly? Or? Uh, he's put a little bit of time into Cloud. I know that. But he does put more time into Rosalina and Luma. But, um... I mean, I don't think he should have switched. I mean, he was playing pretty solidly. And he just... He walked into the uh, bowling ball. That kind of ruined him game two. Yeah, I feel like he, was, he does feel pretty confident in his Cloud. I know that. I know he's got a lot of confidence in his Cloud. And... But he hasn't really faced players here, so it's kind of like out of nowhere. He hasn't really played many villagers either. Oh, that was good tech. All right, so right now he's taking the lead. He just, oh, oh, I knew oh, he was no. gonna go for that. I was just oh, about you got to him. call it. But so, see, you gotta, you can't count him out just yet. I think we might be seeing an upset oh. in the making. I don't think it'd be an upset. I think it'd just be like a win, up a comeback. Oh, he's got limit and I think he's just at sixty-three percent. This is not looking too good. I don't think. Um, oh, if he's just gonna walk off. What percent to slide B start kill? Oh, is that it? Is that it? Yep, that's it. Oh, uh, no, wait, what? He uh, used the Lloyd rocket to cancel his momentum. That's good. Oh, this might. Oh, uh, re -re Oh no. Oh, he's he fishing for roll. smash attacks now. That's a really bad thing. He's kind of got he, that habit where he fishes for smash attacks sometimes. A high oh, it's it. Oh. it. That is so it. Good games. Burb takes it over Pelly here. Yeah. Main defending itself right now. Nice job, Burb. On setup two, can I get disc versus mine? I want to mess it up. 
<laughs> so, I doubted your cloud. Um, <laughs> I doubted your cloud. <laughs> hey, we're on commentary. I'm supposed to be talking to you. Ion versus Xtreme. Okay, so it's Ion versus Xtreme. I was playing Ion. Oh. He uh, plays um, Palutena, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Xtreme, I think I've seen him here before. He's been here before. I don't remember who he plays. Oh, he plays Sheik. He was in doubles last MCG. I remember him. What's his name? Uh, Xtreme. That's his tag. But we have Ion, too. You know the pain. So Palutena versus Sheik. A nerf Sheik at that. But still well, not I don't, I'm not positive if he plays Sheik, but I think he did in doubles. Okay, so... He plays Palutena, right? Ion does, yeah. He's a pretty yeah, solid Not many people play Palutena. I think you'll only see like two of them at an MCG. And that's Cherry and... Uh, oh no, it's, it's Mags. 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 Yeah. Um, it's Mags and Ion. So it's pretty rare to see this matchup. So I don't know if he's ready for it. I know Ion does like to um, use the reflector a lot. Yeah, and Reflector is actually really good. It'll do damage even through shield. It won't do knockback through shield, but it will do damage through shield. Yeah, you just gotta watch out though, because it's a pretty punishable move. Yeah. And if if uh, he is using Sheik, then Sheik will be able to punish it. On setup two, Ooh. can I get Kuma versus Rip Van Winkle? Not really. So I don't really know which stages are good for Palutena. Do you happen to know that? Not really, no. I mean, Palutena can edge cancel or up B, so Battlefield is really good. And oh, I know yeah, Ion's right. really good at edge canceling. Really? Yeah, he just warps all around the stage against me. Oh, yeah, he's going Palutena. That takes a lot of practice. Oh, so uh, yeah. Extreme plays Villager, I guess. Ion told me um, he doesn't really, he can't really uh, get many local matches in, so what he does is. He just practices his tech, so yeah. edge canceling specifically. And we might, we he, do, he does it on the ledge, and we can probably see it on the Smashville platform. Yeah, I think you probably will. Oh, and Reflector is going to be really good against Villager with all his yeah. projectiles. See that? Oh, yeah. that was nice, flashy. Yeah, but um, I'm not sure if like Bowling Ball can punish that. I, I feel like it could be reads where he's gonna Set like four, um, warp. Bobby Wasabi yeah. versus Lemony Fresh. Oh. And there you go, reflected two projectiles at once. Yeah, it stays out for a long time. He's gonna have to watch those Lloyd Rockets. I wouldn't be using neutral B this much because, I mean, it's not gonna be doing too much. I know it's a good spacing. Oh. Oh, oh I just realized if he's close enough to Villager when he does his bowling ball, that will that will reflect right into Villager and probably kill him. Yeah. Because that's a projectile. Oh, oh no. see one messed up edge cancel, and you see he's laughing about it. Yeah, Ion's not going to let that um, affect him too much. I feel like he's just a, a laughing yeah, kind of guy. Yeah, he's pretty calm. Pretty calm about it. I feel like that's uh -oh. definitely something you're going to need to be. If you lose an early stock like that, you're going to definitely want to like try and stay calm and you know, laugh it off. I just saw the villager um, pocket. He reflected Lloyd Rocket, so I wonder if that'll set up oh. some early kills. I mean, he already sent it out, but if he does it again, send out two Lloyd Rockets at once for a mix up. So. I don't know, he hasn't been pocketing anything so far. Oh, yeah, that, he's slowly adapting to it. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't punish that counter. So Palutena is definitely going to want to try and end this stop quick because the amount of damage Palutena has already taken. Oh, we're going to see up smash. Oh, oh he could have had that. Yeah, that was close. If he had just spaced out a bit better. No, he, he just had to um, release it. He held it too long. Oh. So does that hitbox stay out? Yeah, the up smash. Uh, it's pretty. Um, it's pretty big hitbox. I wasn't I'm sure not, if it stayed. Oh, there, that'll take that it. was very good by Extreme. Did he uh, water can and then fall off? Water can and uh, drop down. Uh, the ledge. I think that's uh, what happened. I don't well, think Ion's number three hundred and twelve. <laughs> I don't think we'll be seeing a character switch from Ion. I haven't seen him play anything else. I don't think they're gonna get a character switch from Extreme either. Yeah. 
in Battlefield. And I think we might be seeing uh, X cancels all around from uh, Palestine. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that's definitely why Ion chose this stage. He's, he can do it like three platforms in a row. He's very capable. That's of a it. huge mix up, and a lot of people, I haven't seen many people edge canceling here in Maine, so that's a huge mix up for everyone here. Yeah, I was playing him earlier, and I, I couldn't really catch up to him. I didn't know how to react to that. Man, you know he's putting the time in. On setup three, can I get Mags versus Abaddon? Well, that's, that's me. Wants to hop in and replace Abaddon on common carry. That would be baller. <laughs> What's up? I think Crimson Abaddon on the just mic. left his controller. I'm not sure though. <laughs> oh well. Go be back. Alright, so who's this? Extreme and Ion. <laughs> and Abaddon just got his controller. So I'm pretty sure Ion, he uses a actual like, oh, PS2 no, controller with like some adapter. Yeah, he uses a Sony controller. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's cool though, you gotta respect it. Alright. So right now, Palatin is behind. He can bring it back. It's not that bad. I want to see some edge cancels, though. Have you seen what uh, Iron's able to do with edge cancels? I haven't, actually. He just warps around the stage because up B. He, uh, he can use the platforms to just uh, end all lag off of it. Oh, and we got a pocketed Lloyd rocket. <laughs> oh, I don't That's really much. See that right there? Mm. That's actually really cool. I want to see him reflect that bowling ball. Yeah, this is a really interesting matchup. Palatine and Villager. Especially because you don't see Palatine that much. And Villager's kind of a hitting character. Yeah. He's going to reflect that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> there we wow. go. There we go. Yeah, he's going to reflect more of uh, Villager's attacks. Because Villager's attacks yeah, are mainly his... projectiles. Ion's warping is really crazy. And they're very powerful attacks. Reflect a tree or the bowling ball, and you're probably net a kill at like 40%. And down there. Oh, he should have gone for the oh. firm instead of. Oh, it still hit. Still hit. Uh, missed the up air opportunity, though. Oh, yep. And the double Lloyd mix up. I just love this dude's ledge canceling, teleporting so much. Like, I would be so scared if I were to play up against him. Yeah, I was facing him, and I was in the middle of battlefield, and he was warping all around me. I didn't really know how to react to it. All right, so. I think Ion could be punishing the shield more with grab, because Palatine has a pretty good grab game. Yeah, her grab can definitely combo into a, a lot of different options. Oh, oh no. no. High recovery. Smart. Yeah, that bowling oh, ball is oh, a really oh. dangerous tool. Use the back air. Can kill surprisingly pretty early. All right, the jab. Palutena is such uh, an amazing jab. Gotta watch out for the Lloyd rocket. I want to see. He can probably reflect this because I'm not sure if Extreme's like. Oh no, the axe. Oh, he used the axe. What frames that axe? It's like frame five or something I don't ridiculous know. like that. I don't know. But it comes out extremely yeah. fast. I know that. Yeah, I think Villager has a combo into it. So always be careful of that when a tree is out. He might he might be not going for uh, the, the tree, but the axe instead. Yeah. Yeah, that's Extreme takes it 2-0 over Ion, but they were pretty close matches. So next we're gonna get Dazwa versus Burb. Uh, I don't know if we'll see a Dazwa Bayonetta after the nerfs. I know he's been working on one. We could be seeing Sheik or Rob from Dazwa, and uh, Burb's playing Rosalina, and I think he has a pocket cloud like everybody else in this tournament. <laughs> but, um, uh, I'm not sure if Burb's gonna be playing DDD at all. One, I already dropped him. Peace out, guys. Uh, see ya. Yeah, you're good. And there's a commentary spot open. I'll do it. So nah, I can't commentate. Actually, I am just because my brother's. Oh, got Sherry sitting down. Hello, guys. I was actually surprised uh, Burb took it over. Um, who do you face last? Perry here. Is that his name? Perry here. Um, I don't. I'm not sure. 603 Perry here, I think. 
Step two, can I get JPEG for Scab Dog? Surprisingly enough, Burb and Dazwa actually have done an official tournament match, and Burb, I think, took one set. One game, you mean? Yeah, with DDD. Oh. But he doesn't play Wait, DDD anymore. Is Dazwa so. playing Zero? Dazwa's playing Zero Sue, I think. Oh, yeah? New main, possibly? I don't know. So, Cloud versus Zero Sue. Let's see what Dazwa has for Zero Sue. I haven't never seen him play Zero Sue. Me either, but he's always good with Sheik and characters like very fast characters like this, so. <laughs> so we're getting we're getting short like two hit combos up from everybody. Paralyzer into uh I think that's four there. Yeah, it's four there. Spacing him out with this air. A neutral air into down tilt. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Right now, it's Burb pretty taking it a little bit. It's pretty even so far, basically. Oh, he's got yeah. limit. Oh, smash that. Oh, that's not good. Oh my! Ooh, he's not gonna... I think that was a DI. Yeah, up. he's gonna have to use limit to get back. He's gonna have to get off the ledge. Zero Sue has a pretty good edge guarding game. Especially, yep. Yeah. That's yeah. a DI mix up, I'm pretty sure. Um, they're suspecting the down throw, I believe, and they DI. I'm not sure which way, but it sets up for a uh, spike. Oh, he's just going for the forward smash. I think he's just trying to go for the kill now. Smash yep. I don't think up is. Oh, no. I don't think up is going to take it this percent. It could, but I don't think it will. He's got to be careful on uh, the yeah. ledge. Oh, yeah. He was winning neutral. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> All right, see Skippy. And commentary spot on the. Oh, oh. actually, I should watch the match right here on set four. So I'm playing winner. Yeah, if you want. So am I supposed to watch that TV or this one? No, this one. All right. Hi, folks. You know, it's a good match when the first match you commentate is a donkey con. <laughs> Do we really? So we have Dave. We got a 1.1.6 Bayonetta versus Donkey Kong. This should be interesting. Oh, is he taking Bayonetta? Yeah, he is. So we got Bayonetta versus Donkey Kong. I'm not sure what match this is or who's playing. Uh, it looks like Burb and Dazwa still. So oh. Burb, Burb looks like he's Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. I guess you either got to practice a lot or you have to have a lot of faith in Bayonetta to have her work after the patch. Huh? Um, Dazwa, I think Dazwa has faith in both his abilities and Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, I mean he's a good player. I don't think he has any really reason to doubt himself. But uh. yeah, I don't, I don't think. I think I think uh, Dazwa can do good, probably with whoever he wants to pick up if he puts the time into it. Yeah. That or he's just like trying to prove a point. Uh, Donkey Kong's an interesting pick, in my opinion, for uh, Burb. I know yeah. uh, Burb did DDD for a while. Uh, I think he switched to Rosalina and Luma at least every time, uh, past couple times I've played him. Yeah. But so seeing him pick DK is an interesting choice. You see, uh. Seen a lot of shielding and mm -hmm. from uh, Burb. Looks like he's a little afraid to get hit by those uh, boost kicks. Or this boost kick, right side B? Uh, yeah, something like afterburner kick. Afterburner kick. You can actually do like the quarter circle motion to turn it downward. But yeah. they changed it so 
it, at certain percents it won't combo into itself like it normally does. Like normally you can link one after the other, yep. but they knock it away so fast and you can DI it so well that it really doesn't make. Yeah, is that one point really uh, one point six? Because yeah, yeah. No, one This should be one point one point six. Anybody who brought one point five is probably gonna get banned from the tournament. Let's hope no one did that. Ooh, that was a nice. Oh, that actually killed. That was actually pretty impressive. This is game game two. Yep. I think so. Yep. I wonder. I wonder what Burb's thought process was taking him to duck on as counter pick. I'm not sure. You would think that he would be able to kill him off the top using the tree or something like that. Yeah, but I haven't be, seen that. They've been hounding this side of the stage more often than not. Yeah, I would be more worried about this stage just because of taking him off the sea right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, right the there. Yep. I would have been more afraid of that. So it's still possible. You just didn't kill him. I think it's just harder DI read. That's yeah. probably what it is. Yeah. It's probably easier to SDI out of and then just harder read. The bayonet are really racking up the damage regardless. Oh, and well, there it is. There, there's game. <laughs> So it looks to me like Bayonetta still has some promise. Yeah. It's the first I, time I've seen her played since the patch. Yeah. So. Um, Dazwa took. It looked uh, pretty one handed. Mm hmm. Yeah, I couldn't win that. <laughs> <laughs> you win some, you lose some, Burr. Yep. You s go in trying to play the best you can against Dazwa. He's playing a random player. Oh, Kobe Cheeks. Oh, good. He's a. Uh, can I get 603 G unit versus Yoshi on stream? All right, so 603G against Yoshi. I don't know either of these. Obviously, one's from New Hampshire. That's, uh, in my opinion, you don't come out of state unless you're pretty good at the yeah, game. I'm going I'm to guess that Yoshi plays Yoshi. I, I would hope. Um, it'd be interesting if he didn't. Yeah. But I can't I can't imagine. I feel like 603 is going to be pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't personally go out of state unless I was pretty confident in my smash abilities. Yeah. But, you said you're coming from New Hampshire? Oh, uh, yeah. 603 yeah. is uh, the tag most New Hampshire players grab. That's their area code. Oh, so, yeah. But it was it was good play from Burb, but Dazwa just took it. Yeah, I felt like um, Burb was Donkey Kong, right? Yeah, Burb was yeah, Donkey Kong. I felt like he was betting a way too much on the F smash on the roll get up or something. Yeah, he was like trying that. to read. The, he was like throwing him out over and over again. Trying to lead, uh, read the ledge get up option. I mean, if Hard. it if it. I mean, if it doesn't work the first time, try, try again. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's high risk, high reward, but with Dazwa, yeah. you go into that, at least I go into it, I've played Dazwa a couple times, you go into it thinking you're going to lose, which isn't a good mentality, Yeah. but also, going against Dazwa, I mean... I've only participated in, like, probably a couple tournaments, and every single time I've either been paired up with Dazwa the first round or the second round, so I know that feel. I know the feel of getting bodied by Dazwa, but, you know. Yeah, no, Dazwa's mad good. The, the mentality is just, like, he's just a player like anybody else is. Yeah. He you know, obviously puts him more time, and he's got more skill to back himself up. But, yeah, no, and yeah. He's, he's a great great guy. I mean, I've talked to him oh, a little yeah, bit outside of the dude. game. Totally cool. Yeah, who does he play now? Does he still play, um... I fought him. I fought him at uh, West uh, Waterville Smash Attack Three uh, a couple weeks, two weeks ago, I think. Uh, yeah. He was playing Sheik. Uh, looked like he was playing Sheik most of that tournament. I know I got absolutely trashed by his Sheik. <laughs> yeah. But I've been I've been hearing mostly Zero Suit and Mario, but uh, so we're Cloudy Noshi. I'm seeing a lot of. I mean, I played Cloud personally in my first couple of rounds, but I'm seeing a lot of Cloud. Yeah, Cloud. Yeah. Uh, Cloud's pretty heavy here. Um, I feel, which which is bad for me. I have a pretty yeah. bad track record against Cloud players. And maybe it's just me, but I feel like a main at least has a very strong opinion of Yoshi. And Yoshi's a good character. I don't know if he's necessarily that great, but a lot of people swear by him and his abilities. I'm interested so. to see how this matchup's going to work because yeah. I, I don't feel like Yoshi has a lot of range, uh, whereas Cloud obviously his sword gets him that. Gives him that little bit of edge to just zone people out. Yoshi's already putting on the offensive pretty hard, which is probably for the best because if you go for the egg toss spam, all Cloud really has to do is use that new uh, down B. Yeah, I, limit, I would charge Which limit. is already more than halfway charged, and it's not even 30 seconds into the match. So. Yeah. I, I'm not a big... I don't know this matchup, uh, but I would... Limited knowledge I have on Yoshi. I know Dare's really good. It uh, racks up pretty good yeah. damage. I'd... I'd fish for da uh, dares. I'm not sure of the matchup either, but I'm gonna want to bet that Yoshi really doesn't want to be above Cloud, especially with those up air strings. No, I, mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be above. They're not as strong as before, but I try and stay in close. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like Yoshi might be a little bit quicker than Cloud. I try and stay in, try and get some jabs, uh, jabs in. Oh, didn't link the side B. It's unfortunate. I probably would have netted him the kill if he got the whole thing. 
I'm noticing a lot of back rolls from Yoshi. That's uh, I'd watch out for that because yeah. I feel like G Unit might come in and punish that. You yeah. can't even Zon. punish it with like a well placed dash attack. If you had enough yeah. rage, you could probably kill with that at least. On oh, there we are. Uh, is that gonna kill? Nope. No, not quite. The thing about Yoshi is even though he doesn't have like an actual up B per se, I still find like if you're if you end up off stage, you're gonna come back a lot as Yoshi. Yeah, what is it? He's like got. Is it one of the best air movements or air accelerations in the game? I'm not remember. sure which, but he's fast, and that super armor on double jump is really nice. Oh, yeah. And then horizontal movements, amazing due to uh, egg toss. Yeah, you can break out of combos really easy with that. Hey, Bert! What's that up? Now, I don't know how the auto-cancel dare works, but uh, I know if you jump, it's like full hop, and then if you oh, time nice. it right, you can auto-cancel Cloud's dare. Uh, you'll see it a lot on uh, Mewtwo King. It really lands it almost every time. It's, it's pretty great. And that, does that allow uh, link into, like, uh, what you call it, a finishing touch or something like that? I don't know what it links into, but it's just, you see it a lot on high-level play. It's yeah. really good to... It doesn't doesn't even punishable. Definitely a lot of rolling from both parties on this one. Yeah, rolling sure. rolling Smash Four is really safe unless yeah. you go for good read. Nice link with the cross slash, getting the damage in before his stock is potentially taken away. Yeah, I'd be pretty scared if I was Yoshi because we got Cloud in uh, Rage, so that's it's pretty yeah. scary. Sight. Cloud with Rage and charged up Limit Break. Like, say what you will about his recovery or whatever, but you know. He's still strong. He's more than capable. Absolutely. He's incredibly popular. I don't know what has happened to his limit, but apparently now it's gone. So I think he might have tried going for a finishing touch. Which yeah, he have must have been. One game one. one, game one. Uh, set up two. Or just still, game one. still game one. Just still game one. Still game one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, Yoshi. Well. Yoshi just took game one. Uh, not Yoshi. Yoshi. Uh, G Unit just took game one. Yep. Uh, two zero. Uh, we'll see if Yoshi stays Yoshi. I personally hope he does. Got a. I'm a big fan of sticking with your main. <laughs> yeah. I'm really glad he's picking Yoshi, otherwise my mom would have just been <laughs> Yeah. Oh, is he going to switch? Set up four, can I get oh. Cherry versus Pell here? Switching to Lucas? Uh, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm not sure about the Lucas matchup, but I, oh, I, looks like he's going to go I, back yeah. to Yoshi. Looks like he's going Yoshi. Yoshi, Final Destination, were they just at a, not Final Destination, Battlefield. Were they, they were just, they at, just Battlefield. at Battlefield. Yep. I would have. Uh, I actually would have counterpicked. I would have counterpicked to Duck Hunt because uh, Duck Hunt's a 2D stage, mm -hmm. and it, uh, so when Cloud uh, uses up air, his feet leave the Z-axis. So you see a lot of the times uh, with projectiles, we'll try and hit Cloud, but his feet won't get hit because he leaves the Z-axis. Okay. And Duck Hunt actually flattens that so he doesn't, so you can still hit his feet when he does up airs. I've never known that. Yeah, I think... Can you believe that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. I believe yeah. Beefy Smash Dudes or My Smash Corner put the video out. It's on YouTube, you guys can look it up. Yeah, but it's, those really good guys. Yeah, great guys, great tutorials. It was interesting. So we're already into match two, and it looks as though things are more or less the same. Yeah, they're, um, they're going pretty even right now. Yeah. 81, 81 90. It's pretty even. Uh, I'd be it's up on top, getting hit by those up air combos. I'm not sure how I feel about Yoshi coming down with those down bees. I think he's trying to bet too much on hitting with that, but the cloud is definitely like taking his time, just kind of waiting for to see what Yoshi's doing. I'd be especially worried if um, I don't know if up air on cloud is disjointed, but if it is, he's just gonna throw I'm, up airs up there and knock yeah, him out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just oh that actually killed. I'm pretty sure it's disjointed. They have like nerfed it a bit in percent knockback, I believe, since one of the recent patches, but um. It's still a pretty potent build. Yeah. I'm, I'd always be scared with uh, Yoshi with disjointed up airs oh. going for those down bees because you can just knock right out of it. But nice ni hitting nice up air. Uh, yeah, up smash. <laughs> Yeah, I got up right. That, that's something that I see with a lot of Yoshi's in particular is that they their up smash. If you're standing right in the middle, underneath one of the platforms, and do their up smash, it covers the entire platform above. That's, that's nice. So it's a pretty handy trick, but um, you know, just don't get too far with it. Missing poor, the cross slash. Yeah, poor spacing on that cross slash, yeah. but he's in a safe position where he can afford to make a couple slip ups. He's got a stock lead, and he's piling on the damage really, really. Yeah, he's well. getting getting great. Yeah. He's already got a game lead too, so hopefully this doesn't mean that the Yoshi's gonna like, I don't know, crack under pressure like an yeah. egg or something like I'd, that. I'd like to see Yoshi. Uh, oh, Yoshi you're hitting him with the back, forward smash, and it living, doesn't we're kill. Living. Yep. It's nice. I'm actually kind of surprised about. Oh, and there, there, there's, there's game the two. Yep. Oh, it was, it was pretty heavily in G unit. Yep. 
really impressive play with Cloudberry patient, I think. Yeah, it was yeah. it was nice. Uh, looked like he punished a lot of the down uh, down bees, like we were talking yeah. about earlier. Very smart use of like he he didn't go out of his way to spam the up air. I think. No, I, so, which a lot of clouds tend to do, self included. So um, on stream, can I get mags safe. for Slim? Yeah, Mags versus Slim. Mags versus on. Slim. I know, um, I've played Slim. Slim's pretty good. Who does he use? Uh, Slim uh, uses dark, the uh, brownish colored Samus. Oh, yeah, I saw him on a stream a little, or not stream, I saw him in pools. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. Um, I know Mags, I thought I heard he normally plays uh, Pac Man, but I think this tournament, uh, at least, I think he's trying to pull Palutena. Samus versus Palutena. That'll Which be will be interesting. I will be interested to see how that goes. I feel like we might see a lot of side views from Politana to get those charge shot missiles reflected yeah. back. But it'll be an interesting match. As far as I know, they're both around the same level of play. Yeah. Neither one is like a lot higher than the other. I think they're pretty even in terms of skill. Mm -hmm. And the both of them are pretty obscure characters. I know that Samus got a lot of character changing buffs recently yes, at 1.1.5. I, I can't say the same for Palutena, but I think Palutena's. I don't think Palutena's nearly as bad as people claim she is. I don't think so either. She's definitely not bottom five. Uh, yeah, no, EGLX, we had, I believe, Ice Ninja made it to top eight. Mm -hmm. uh, so obviously. Palutena? Yeah, with Palutena. I don't think you can really call a character bad if you can make no. top eight at a tournament. No. I, I mean, she's obviously not good, but she's not that terrible if you make top yeah. eight out of it. It was a pretty big tournament, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I believe you had Nairo there. You had some pretty big names. Wow, oh, that's pretty impressive. Still waiting for the players to show up. Yeah, it looks like Mag's walking up to the setup, grabbing his controller. Yeah, I don't want to go down So far, this is a slightly smaller tournament than normal, but it's nice. How many entries do we have? Uh, I think I heard I heard someone say 33, but yeah. it, lo it looks about that number. It's usually around like 40-something, isn't it? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're missing some numbers. I don't know if it has anything to do with school, uh, college getting out lately. Yeah, it's possible. I know USM and SMCC just finished their semesters, mm -hmm. so a lot of people went home. I don't know if that's it. But it's kind of nice to have a small small tournament sometimes. Yeah, this is actually the first, well, I may have said that already, but this is the first tournament that I've come to in a while. Actually, the first one that I'm commentating for. I've always wanted to try it. Yeah, this is my actually. first commentary, too. So, I mean, I saw people posting on the Facebook page. Well, first of all, we actually do, it does look like we have a Palutena Samus matchup yep. going on, so that should be very interesting to see. I know there's another person. Uh, five. Can I get Sully shit poster versus I know there's Paul. another person here who uses Palutena. I don't remember his handle or his name, but he has a very, a very patient and impressive Palutena. So seeing two Palutenas at tournament, and then seeing how the two of them play. I saw Mags play earlier. He was uh, looking for a lot of up smashes. That's a great option because yeah. how tall it goes. And uh, up smash loses power the higher up it is, right? I don't know, but that would make sense. Okay. It would make sense. Uh, I didn't know if it was like constant all the way through, or we go at the bottom, or stronger at the top, or what. I'm not positive, but it the the uh, animation does look like it would have something like that. Yeah. But who knows? I like betting on your main, but I don't know how Samus is going to fare with the reflector. I don't know. I don't know how safe reflector is. Um, yeah. I don't have a lot of matchup knowledge with Palutena, but a lot of obscure characters, I gotta say. Yeah, it's this is it's nice that we don't have a lot of people going for top tiers here. Yeah, I we was, have a nice spread of characters. I was spending, I was, I go through character crises a lot. I was spending a lot of time like debating what kind of top tier character I wanted to play, and I was like, guy who wins consistently like second or first place at Attack on Patties up in Bangor uses Bowser Jr. and uh, Ganondorf. So anyway, going into the match. There. Yep, Samus is already taking the lead. Which yeah. is Samus just went Not on what in I there. expected. Nice block with the neutral beat. Going on in there, but Palutena looks like she's coming back. De definitely reminiscent of the last match we just had, where both players are definitely going on the offensive, trying to Yeah, take they're both going down. in hard. Yeah. Seems like a little bit of a back and forth here, but the Palutena is definitely in the percent lead. A nice catch with the up air, with that uh, look like drop ledge jump get up option. Mm -hmm. which was Nice. I, I like that option. It's a fun option. Oh, and there's the up smash. Yep. 
Uh, Palutena is up smash is just really good in my opinion. Yeah, Palutena has a, a lot of strong moves. I can't necessarily say what about her is necessarily bad. I think she's more of a jack of all trades, master of none. Would that be accurate to say? I, I think that's. I think her frame data isn't the best, but yeah. from the play that Mags is throwing oh, out there, nice. she looks fine to me. And then Slim hopping back with that nice bear to get her off stage. No, no follow up for a ledge ledge guard, but oh, nice tick grab. Tried to follow up with the nair, just missed it. Nope, we, does we're still living, doesn't kill. Miss, miss charge shot, missed that was... Charge. That's unfortunate. It's, yeah, it's sad. <laughs> so, yeah, I've seen him charge it back up. Oh, oh there's oh, that reflector yeah. we were talking about. <laughs> Definitely only use the charge shot if you're sure that it's, that thing's gonna hit. Yeah, I wouldn't... Oh, ledge cancel. That was so sweet. Oh, nice yeah. ledge cancel up B from Max. Oh, yeah, I was watching the other Palutena do that, and like you're doing the edge cancel up B. Ooh, nice, uh, great not, read from Slim yeah, with nice. that. I'm not sure what the practical use is for the teleport cancel, but I... You know, mind games, I guess? I can't say for sure. I would guess, but that was a great read from Slim. Yeah, nice dash attack. But Mags looks like taking it in stride, not drop, yeah. not uh, affecting the play. I feel like Mags is definitely taking his time making patient reactions and reads. Yeah, and it looks like Mags is really good at the punish game. Looks like yeah. he's waiting for something. Absolutely. Waiting for uh, Slim to screw up a bit and then just going in there and getting a nice string off of Missing the up smash, unfortunately, but, you know. I think he can afford to make a little, a few mistakes. Yeah, he's got, it's not a big lead, but it's it's nice yeah. enough. There's the third up There's smash in a row. He gets the kill. He gets the kill. And it's that's game uh, one. Game one, yep. I'll be interested to see what, uh, what counter picks Slim chooses to go to if he doesn't want to go back to Battlefield? I'm almost wondering if he's going to switch. I honestly don't know who here plays what character, but I'm almost wondering if he's going to switch off Samus or not. I don't know. I've only seen Slim play Samus. I don't know if he has a pocket, but mm. I'll be interested. Uh, set up three. Can I get the Laser Blazer versus Rip Van Winkle? Oh, that's me. All right, you're going to hop off the mic? Yep. <sighs> All right, so it looks like we've got Abaddon coming on the mic. Oh yeah. So uh, is this Mag versus Slim? We've got Mag versus Slim, game two. Uh, Mag took game one. It was a little close, but. It was close. Hey, Shy. No talking to the commentators. Thank you. So it looks like we're going to game two. Slim took him to Smashville. Yeah. Maybe just want some more open space. Looked like uh, Mag was getting a lot of combos off platforms last game. And oh, ooh, that was super sad, early SD. Sad early death. Oh, yeah. It's always sad when you see something like that, but thankfully Mags does have the game the game advantage, so... Yep, so it's, he can afford that one. He can afford it, but even if you can afford it, it's still devastating to take uh, that. Set up two, can I get Because then the pressure kind of racks up if you hit game three. Yeah. So that was an interesting grab. Looked like he was trying to... Slim was trying to read the roll get up option. Yeah. But Slim shows standard and punished. Yep. So... It might be a little scary throwing out those projectiles because you never know when Palutena is going to throw it. Yeah, throw that beam. reflect. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yes. I wouldn't try throwing that charge shot unless I'm confident it's going to land. Yeah, you probably want to try and get it off a mix-up. I, I, I feel like I'm not. Gonna, I don't want to sleep on Mags, but I feel like it's going to go to game three due to that uh, SD. Oh yeah. But I want. I want to see it pull it back. Can I get Abaddon versus G Unit? Oh, okay. All right, and yes. quick as they come, they leave. I think Shives wants to, but fine, Shives. Yo, yo. All right, so we got Shy hopping on the mic for awesome. Mags and Slim. Missed it. Uh, Mags sad as the early in the, in the game, but he's holding his own so far. Nice, nice. Uh, he has the he has one game advantage, so if he loses this, we still get to go to game three. And Mags, beautiful, beautiful punish on what looked like an air dodge. And let's see if uh, Mags can take this back. He has rage, so I mean yeah, anything's he's got possible. Good rage going on now. Anything's so. possible with rage. And oh, looked a little scared for Slim there, but he made it back. No, this is awesome. 
and looks like Slim has a fully uh, charged charge yeah. shot. So Slim, I'd be a little. Slim was actually one that sent me to losers, and he had the charge shot on deck like pretty much the whole time. Really good at just you know getting that on deck and just waiting it out. So. So Slim took that one. We're gonna see a game three. I'll be interested to see where Mag if Mags wants to go back to Battlefield where he won game one. Or if Mags decides to switch characters, but I think he... Oh, nah, he's sticking with, he's it. Sticking with Politana through and through. Let's see where he wants to go. Looks like... Uh It says Mags is unranked, but I've been hearing people hyping him up here. So. Uh, Mag, it does say Mags is unranked, but I've seen Mags at a bunch of these tournaments, yeah. and he Mags plays... Yeah, he was almost... Yeah, right He... I see Mags play pretty good, and geez, with Slim just going in for <laughs> quick quick 50% on on Mags. And it looks looks like he's Slim's going... He's it up. He's going in. Slim's taking that momentum from last game and just rolling with it. Forward is. Forward is. Yeah, that was was a great string. And it looks like Slim. Yeah, he's going to town. He is, and it, it doesn't look like, Ooh. wow. It doesn't look like Mags has an answer to what Slim's putting down right now. It's, it's honestly impressive. Yeah, he's going to have to find a way to mix it up here because Slim's going right in on him. Not much and, to answer. Ooh, that charge shot hurts. Good, big percent, and... I don't want to say this is this is over, but it's you not could looking. Pull back, but it's it's, it's looking, looking tougher every Max. second. It's certainly not looking good. Oh, he's living. And yeah, ooh, the charge it. shot I'll takes the game. Uh, sad, but Slim took that momentum and just it was like a Mack truck. Just yeah, he was going in on that. Took him took him a little while to build up his momentum, but once he did, once nothing he was, it, he nothing was, was slowing him down. Nope. Nothing is slowing him down. So I'm interested to see who we have up next. Mr. Ryan Ness versus Disc. So we got Mr. Ryan Ness versus Disc. All right. Um, I know Ryan Ness, great player. Yeah. Wario Kirby, so 
Which I think is a favorable matchup for Hoover. Here. Cherry. I feel like you're definitely going to see a lot of offensive play from Kirby. Um, you're going to see a lot of awesome offensive play from both of them. Both of them definitely um, have very... Definitely need uh, close quarters to play. Yep. I'm gonna, we may see some bike game from uh, Wario, but um, Kirby can eat that and recover health, so who knows. Right now, uh, it's pretty even 60-59, Wario yep. to Kirby. Uh, this could, go any, this could go anywhere. Like I said, you're definitely going to see a lot of tilts and combos from yeah, Kirby. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we're definitely seeing... I think Disc is playing the Wario. 603 Disc yeah, playing the Wario. Yeah. So, definitely, definitely uh, an offensive Wario from Disc. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's going right in there trying to get what he can. but Getting what he can. Mr. Ryan is definitely trying to get the spacing in it, though. Misses. We'll get a safe ledge grab. Kirby is at kill percentage. Any, yeah. any smash attack would make it. Oop. Definitely... We're going to see a lot of blocked gameplay yeah. in Wario's setups. Um, I feel like Mr. Ryan has definitely needs to get the KO now to stay safe from yeah, that Yeah, yeah, he needs to definitely need to reel it back in here quick as he can. On a character as like Kirby, a 60% fully charged waft would be an instant kill. Yep. So right now, disc racking up damage on yeah. Kirby. Kirby, I, I it's interesting. Space him out. He's got... Doing what he Does can to kill. just kind of control the matchup right here. Mr. Rhinus needs the kill right now. It's the sooner he gets killed, the lesser of a gap he'll be right. between the two. Right. Uh, disc with the fully charged dwarf that will carry over with the stock though. Ooh, he takes Ooh. that. Nice that was a nice tech. Not Can yet though. All right, he knew so Fifty-six percent. You know, this is definitely doable. Old. Definitely doable. Oh, he misses the loss. That's... That would have killed. That would have killed if he hit that. Hurts to miss that. that hurts to miss. But I don't think this minds that much. He's at a he's at a 58% difference right now. Definitely yeah, still got a nice little lead. Definitely in a little uh, safe spot. He, but he doesn't want to let up. Brian is definitely getting the shield pressure with Kirby downers. Oh, he's trying to do some jank moves. <laughs> Get him off stage there. Definitely down doing. air. Oh, oh. 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 That was nope, disrespectful. Right. That was absolutely disrespectful. 603 disc ranked 28th in main. Yeah, and he held that together pretty well there yeah. throughout the whole game. He definitely got, uh, definitely had some great shielding, definitely had um, some great defense mixed with offense. Yep. Mr. Rhinus was definitely on the offense of that yeah. whole match. Yeah, so we're definitely going to see him switch it up here. May go Cloud, may go Mega Man. I'd love I'm, to see Mega Man. I'd love to see Mega Man. I'd love to see a very spatial matchup, see yep. how Wario responds to Mega Man's uh, projectile and space. And he's going Mega Man. Right? He's going Mega Man. So this is interesting. I think Mr. Ryan has to keep up with the shield pressing and offensive tactics. Yep. But I feel Fair like enough. Disc may respond with going offensive again and hitting Mega Man where it hurts, which is very close up. Yeah. So Mr. Ryan has definitely wants to keep his distance, but also wants to make sure that He's able to land a hit or two. So already starting off, just hitting, hitting Mr. Ryan where it hurts. Definitely can try and get close up, knowing Mega Man doesn't have much control in a close matchup. This could be a two... Two in a row for Disc. Could be. Could be a, a quick 2-0, dude. I don't know. It's hard to call it now, especially when... Yeah, I think uh, I think Ryan Ness it looks like he's a little more confident in this game. Uh, right. Maybe a little more advantageous matchup for him, but... It could definitely be... Definitely be the name and the reputation he yeah. has in this, uh, yeah. in this tournament space. Mr. Ryan Ness definitely trying to keep him away. Keep it this way, making sure he doesn't get close up. Seeing a lot of lemon game nice right play. now. See you, dude. It could go either way at this point. Yeah, yeah, this is like um, very if, if even Mr. so Mr. Ryan just keeps up with distancing himself from Disc, mm -hmm. he's definitely going to have an easier time. Disc definitely wanted to try to get in, try and get a neutral error, or try and get even a grab like we just saw yeah. right there. Very close in percentage and uh, getting right up in each other's zones. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Nice Shuri nice from Mega Man. See, while Mega Man doesn't really have a great um, 
close on close game. He doesn't really do well close quarters. Yeah. Definitely up tilt is one of his best moves. Yeah, yeah. One of the best moves in the game. Mega Man's up tilt. Um, it will kill at point blank range at mm -hmm. 80%. Yeah, great, usually. great sure you can move. Great sure you can move. We may see, yep, we see some slides too. Oh, yeah. Established he's, he's looking Mega a Man lot more in his element now. Does have high percentage, but. Uh, Trying to just get off the he, has, he has the loft. I feel like he's gonna save the loft until he gets the next dock off. Yeah, yeah that, that would that would card. probably be his best move. Um, Mr. Ryan is not shielding the bike. Definitely using it to edge guard. I don't know. He may be pressured into using the loft early just to get the stock off, just to close the gap. Yeah, but that, that's that's, that's be, a big tool out of the way. That's though. a big tool out of the way. It would be smart of him to just save it for next stop. Mm -hmm. um, very right. nice. nice. Got stock off. Eighty percent behind. All right, got that waft. So if you can get to sixty percent and hit the waft. It's game for it's. The game is uh, for disc easily. Yeah. You can pull it back here, but uh, you can pull it back at high percent. Definitely gain some good shielding. And Mega Man Two, we just saw the Shuri can KO at this per at this point as well. Just definitely trying to pressure him in. Definitely trying to get the percentages up yeah. to the point where the walk will kill. Ooh, that's got killed. Oh man, that's that it. That's that, dude. Uh, sure. Just like you said, got him up to enough percent. Just got the waft out. Yep, he took his meds. That's all you gotta do. He took the stock stock off, saved it to the right moment, and that's it. That's all you gotta two do. And oh to, uh, two and zero. Oh, disc wins against Mr. Ryan Ness. That. I haven't seen Mr. Not Ryan S. Right, in a while. That's me. All right, dude. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. Let's see what else we can get on here. Hey, man. How's it going? What's up, man? So, looks like my boy Kuma is up on stream. All right. The young spin dash of New England, New Hampshire. <laughs> This is why Black Ocean shouldn't commentate. Black Ocean shouldn't commentate. I agree. <laughs> All right. So last game, Disc takes it. Yeah, he yeah. uh, took him 2-0. Oh. It was kind of surprising. But. In all fairness, I was kind of anticipating a shield break. He was putting on a lot of shield pressure with neutral yep. up air. It was actually pretty. Oh, rank first. Yeah, it's like melee. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so apparently... Um, yeah, it's like melee. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so apparently... Um, you know, it's Kuma, so I don't, I don't think... Yeah, dude, rank, I'm not gonna rank ex first, it's, you know... Yeah, I don't expect that. Never happens, I <laughs> But, um, you know, did kind of see, I guess, a mini upset Ryan Ness got 2 0 -oh Yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah. Dude. He didn't expect to get 2 0 -oh either. He didn't expect to lose, but he did. 
Oh, that was good. I didn't know that um, that set goes straight down to another combo. Yeah, dude, Danner's real good with Fox in this. Yeah, I didn't think to send him down with it. Jeez. I want to see some fast fall up airs from Kuma. That can lead into yep. a lot of mm -hmm. good Fox combos. Definitely set you up well. Yeah. Bobby Wasabi, um, he used to play Ness and Pikachu, but I guess oh, yeah. he prioritized and he just picked Pikachu. So he's been playing Pikachu for a while, and I don't know how long Kuma's been playing Fox. Yeah, I, I saw I saw Wasabi playing uh, Pikachu oh. a little earlier. Uh, he was definitely doing quite well, but uh, you know, not against Kuma. He's gonna have to <laughs> do, oh, yeah. do better than quite well. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have to be doing do way better. Perfect, perfect, pretty much. Yeah. I've seen pretty, Kuma do some pretty amazing things. Uh, set up three, can I get Crimson for Soul? I expect so. probably a um, probably a two stock. I don't know. Well, uh, he's at high percent, but um, he's getting a lot of extra damage. Yeah, he's Kuma definitely knows what he's doing. Yeah, absolutely. There isn't really much to say because Kuma's just so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the really turnaround good. back air. I love that. Oh, oh and that's SD. Bobby Wasabi does that a few times. He does that. Very unfortunate. I wonder if we're going to see a switch off Pikachu or if he's going to stick with it. Um, He's going to stick with it because his only other character would um get reflected every Okay, so back in this match. I don't know why you would pick uh, Smashville. Smashville's got a low ceiling. Reflecting. Smashville. I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens, but I mean, just saying, I, probably I wouldn't have made this stage choice. Yeah, Fox can get super early up air kills now. Yeah. Oh. Already getting him out on the edge. Oh, already 60%, and it's already been like 30 seconds. Oh, oop. No. Trying to give him out on the platform there, but. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, what? Oh, he can, no, he can make He's it back. back. Yep. Yeah, I, I, remember, forget, I remember it's possible to make it back from that. I always forget in this game, you got Fox's side B and up B you can both do. Yep. They don't uh, burn out, so. And, fun fact, um, if you up, if you side B in the air and when you land, you'll have a lot less landing lag and you can actually oh, yeah. combo off of it too and it's really good. Wow, surprisingly Villager's doing better. Oh, yeah, uh, one of his Oh! Yeah, I saw that. He could have just let it happen, but no. Saw that all happening. Oh, dude. He's going to have to really rein it back now if he wants to keep yeah. it close. But I mean, he had it pretty close for the yeah, first Yeah, he was keeping stock. it good there for a stock, but just got it. Yeah, that's actually, that's really good. On the ledge. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, now he's starting to take a lot of damage. I think it's getting to him. I win, he I'm just reflecting everything back. Yeah. I just see that shine. Got a tree up, but. Uh... Oh, whoa. Made something work. Okay. So. Still Maybe he can bring it back. Oh. Still in it. Yeah, he's good. It's Gotta watch in, out for those yeah. up airs, though. That's so much percent. Oh, Pockets is uh, it's definitely just throws it out. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be an uphill battle now. Like absolutely, but uh, doable. Yeah. It was a bit more doable before, but then he just took that up air. And yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. makes it back. But I wonder if uh, lasers can pop the balloons, can they? I'm oh. not sure about that. And it gets him in the same way it's again. Under the ledge, rip. Same way, both stocks. That's that. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna hop off, give someone else a chance here. Okay. Uh, that, was a, that was a good two up. 
Yep. Oh no, you're up next. I went for two minutes. Hey, there's a spot on commentary. I'd like to take it. Okay. We have Max here. Hello, everyone. Okay, can I get Joshua versus Disc on oh, the stream? Oh, this Joshua is exciting. Disc. Yeah, Disc is very hype. He just, like, after that clean 2-0 on Ryan Ness, um, with that waft, that was ridiculous. I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, I missed it, but I heard it was good. Yeah, I heard it was nice. So, I'm surprised. I don't know. Maybe he can even pull beating Dazwa. Maybe. His Wario is prime. It's yeah, his Wario is very good. And he's got, like, the aspect of, like, who plays Wario? Not many people. Mm. Hard to find Set up one. one! Can I get Lemony Fresh versus Cherry? I was, uh, I was playing him Set in five. Friendlies earlier. Can I get I, Hole versus Bird? I was lucky enough to get a few stocks off of him because he is... So he's so he gets the frame traps perfectly. I know the up air into waft. He gets it so. Wow, immediately going right into this. Wow. Yeah, they already know. Okay, well, see, this is a this is a definitely a good place for Wario with his up airs. But I mean it's also a good place for Sheik. Because Sheik's up airs are definitely not something to sleep on. And I mean Sheik also just has better frame data than Wario, but I don't know. Oh, he, he does have the aspect of um, you know, just who plays Wario? Nobody knows how to counter it. But I don't know, this is also Dazwa. I might be selling them too short with this one. But uh, Sheik's fast moves are definitely going to be putting Wario in the corner. So he's going to go for the bite a lot more to sort of cut his combos short. Mm, yeah. But that move takes it's a, a little quick, bit. To come it's out. a quick move to just stop everything. Mm, probably one of the best oh. command grabs in the game, debatably. Yeah. It's like almost inescapable. It's really hard to, to knock it hit by that when he throws it out. Unless you're just really far away. Oh, the edge Keeping guard him? Him. No, no edge guard. Letting him back up. I was hoping for something hype Ooh. there. His neutral, uh, Wario's neutral air out of shield is so good at like following up because the late hit of the neutral air combos into pretty much any one of his attacks, including the waft. Yeah. Forward throw. You gonna make anything with the bike? Set oh, gonna set it down. See ya. Oh, yep. All right, I'm solo accommodating this match so far. Forward throw. So we got O oh, setting up the bike. Nothing. Oh. Oh, back air is gonna take it. See if Dawes can run with any of this momentum. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Bobby Wasabi. Disc versus Dazwa, huh? Mm -hmm. So we were just commentating on uh, Wario a while ago, huh? Mm, his Wally, Wario is completely like dominant. He knows exactly what to do, but in this case, he's got... Wario, we may see a matchup similar to the last match with um, Ryan Ness versus Disc, where uh, you know, Disc took, its med, took his meds, um, waited until... The next stock, where he got uh, Ryan S down until the Wapt would kill. So, I bet you we're gonna see the same thing here. He's gonna try to take his meds. He's gonna try to take some hits. Oh, oh, edge. That's that's it. He doesn't have his. Oh, he oh, he held his jump he for held his so jump. long. Wow, that's oh. that's some patience right there. This is really dangerous for Dazwa because if he can take the stock, he needs to take the stock. Oh, Other, that, oh that's gonna kill. Yeah, definitely. So All what right. Disney needs to do right now in order to win, he got, or he's out the rage, which oh, was probably not the, the best rage. idea. The rage. Um, if he can get Dazwa to about, I'd say 50% on the edge, he can take it back with the waft. The waft yeah. will be the trump card that we'll see here oh, right now. However, it wouldn't be surprising if Dazwa definitely tries to get a kill early on, doesn't let him use the waft. 
That and rage just waft is so scary. So we're either just gonna see a kill from Nazwa or a waft, maybe, maybe soon. If we're gonna see a waft, we're gonna see it around the 50%, 40% mark. I don't think he's gonna try to do it early. He's been playing it off for a while now. Definitely trying to use patience. Definitely trying to stay alive and get as many little hits in as possible, or to rack up damage so the waft will be a viable killing move. But every time Dazwa hits him, he's giving him more rage. He's giving him more rage. Rage doesn't really does it. All right, I'm not very familiar with rage. So, mm -hmm. from what I understand, is that once it's 100, it can't go any higher. Nope, it caps at 150. Caps at 150. All right, so he's at max rage right now. Mm -hmm. Any dangerous amount of dot. So dot all bags. it would take is a few hits for Dazwa to be in killing range of the waft. Mm. However, as he keeps taking damage, even a simple back air will kill him off. Oh, definitely. He's... Oh, oh, no, no, was... no edge guard. Oh, has he got follow no up? Fo no follow up. There's nice. a follow up. Nice it doesn't, dodge. it doesn't connect though. Definitely some smart plays with Mike right now. That's not gonna kill. He's almost at 200. That's oh, good. the back air's gonna take it. Wow. Back air's gonna take it. Didn't see the waft as well. Mm. Definitely tries to kill him before you get that waft out. Wario's so aerials. One zero. Wario's aerials are so fast, and the weak hit of most of them can immediately combo into the waft. Oh so. yeah, neutral airs come out just like that. The same with a lot of characters. Neutral air is definitely a good combo set move, uh, and it's definitely a good move for trying to get spacing out. Oh. And we're back. Cool. Oh, oh, no. And there we are. Yes. We live in. All right. Cool. Going to game two. Game two. I feel like we're going to see the same tactics we set up before. Oh, that B reverse. Oh. Definitely trying. Doesn't lay. Not laying does well. Get to combo him. Definitely tries to rack up damage now. Definitely trying to get that stuff. Oh my oh, god. Wow, the confirmed. Two neutral errors back to back. No time at all. No. Barely any uh, lag between those moves. I think that was all one neutral layer. That was, was it all one? His neutral layer like last like it's a huge hitbox and like you said it's very little lag on it and it auto cancels pretty easily is from what I've seen. All right, and so disc definitely come out strong from the gate. Dazwa definitely trying to find out what he's trying to do. Disc oh, trying to go full offensive, episode. definitely trying to not let Dazwa get a solid hit on him without leading to some combos. And you notice he's not using the bike in neutral at all. He's just like using it to get back on the straight the stage. Using he's trying it as, like, to use it as a distraction. He's using it as distraction, honestly. And, um, I feel like he's trying to set the bike up at this point, so it's right here waiting for him if he needs to use ooh, it for edge oh, That's that, gonna kill. This isn't looking in disc's favor. Disc definitely needs to close the gap now. Mm -hmm. Definitely needs to get the stock off now with a solid mm -hmm. smash attack. Otherwise, the gap's just gonna get bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. But. As we've said before, the Waft definitely has a place with Wario's game. The, de the Waft definitely is, like Lil Max KO Punch, definitely is the trump Ooh. card in Wario's setup. Oh wow, that killed. That was a very early kill. Every time he hits the bike though, it charges up the Waft and heals 1%. So I feel like he's definitely trying to charge up that Waft, definitely ooh, definitely trying to make sure he can get Dazwa at kill percentage. Right now, in this match, is looking better than it was last time, mm. but Dazwa not letting him get a single hit on him. Nothing. Oh, we oh, got the waft. Got, got the waft. waft. Now's the time. Get... Now's the time. Disc definitely needs to rack up some damage. I'm gonna say 55%, 60% is where he wants to be to have it be a, mm. a solid KO at point, Until at point blank range. Yeah, but uh, but the rage will come into play and it will kill very very early near the edge. This is Smash Bros. Dazwa's well. not letting oh. him touch him. He's not. He's not giving him a single touch right now. Any, no, nothing there. He's not letting him anywhere near that bike. No, nope, not letting him near the bike. Oh, nothing. Ooh. He is in a dangerous spot right now, not being able to connect any hits right now. Just definitely, you can see in his gameplay, he's definitely feeling pressure right now. That's what's not holding up. Definitely feel, uh, playing on a lot of pressure. That's what also playing it safe, making sure he doesn't. Oh. No, no we got a solid up. hit there. If he gets one more the... of those, one more of those, then the waft may kill. That's gonna oh, kill that's, them. That's gonna take it. Wow. That's gonna take it. Does what takes it. Solid play by Dazwa. Playing so smart. Two zero against Disc. You could see when, whenever Disc brought the bike onto the stage near the ledge, he just completely shut off Wario. He oh, wasn't yeah. gonna let him anywhere near.
but she can. So now we have Kuma versus Slim. Kuma absolutely destroyed me that last that last match. Oh, his fox is. From what I've seen, it's crazy. I'm really his surprised. His fox is crazy. He definitely has a great balance of defensive and offensive play with his fox. Um, one thing I want to see him do is definitely try to read his opponent a little bit more. Um, there are times in our matchup where I was able to connect hits that should have been kind of obvious, mm. but just easily connected. So I want to see if Kuma is able to read his opponent. Um, and Samus is slippery as well. You never know. That up B out of shield, Fox is really good at applying pressure, but that up B can cut, like, really catch him off guard. Mm. So Kuma definitely, he's won the best in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. So shout out to all the New Hampshire mm -hmm. He plays great on stream right at now. Pound. So we're definitely seeing, yeah, we're definitely seeing some well-timed rolls and definitely well-executed hits right now. Definitely beating out the grab, def not beating out the grab, but just dodging the grab and getting some solid hits. He knows that everything will add up over time. And he's, he's playing a patient game right now. He's not trying to get uh, a serious hit that'll do a lot of damage at once. He's definitely doing bit by bit, chip by chip, until, until it's time for a kill move, for a smash attack, for well, his Fox Seven is Arsenal. He's got up guys, smash, up yeah. smash, up smash, up smash Fox up smash along with Pikachu's up smash, and I'd say Luigi's up smash as well oh, are definitely some of the best oh, up smash. Mario's, Mario's up smash. I'd, I'd, say, all the way I'd say Luigi's up smash definitely uh, comes out faster. Oh, it does. Yeah, uh, Luigi's definitely use up smashes to their advantage. So right now. Um, for two stock. to one with stocks, Kuma definitely, definitely getting ahead. Uh, Slim right now, all he needs to do is just close that gap, which is harder, yeah, easier said than done, yeah, especially um, with a character like Samus. And he's not in kill range right now. Um, you're gonna see a lot. I feel like he's gonna try to go for um, some hits. I'm wondering if Kuma is gonna be able to predict when they're gonna come out and uh, reflect them. In which case, a fully charged reflected shot back at Samus will kill at about 60%. Yeah, and in, in the uh, near the ledge, he's gonna kill even sooner. Yep. Oh, he whiffs that a uh, charge shot. Yep. So he, he's going for uh, a short hop and not a counter. Oh, down smash. Take him over the ledge. It's not looking good for Slim right now. Um, Kuma in rage, in rage. Uh, Slim gained some solid hits on mm. Kuma, but not being able to get the hit that he needs. He's definitely not be able to get a smash attack or a charge shot or anything that will kill Fox. Mm. Oh, good side bait. Let's see recover from that. Good recovery. Oh, can we nothing? We're not seeing any missiles from Slim. We're not seeing any missiles from Slim. Kuma definitely is in a comfortable position where oh, he can oh, take some risks and go for some cool plays right now. He's got a lot of momentum right now. He's he got a lot of momentum. He's definitely putting the pressure on Slim. He can do whatever Nothing. he wants at this A lot point. of great shielding from Kuma in response. Wow. Cross stage. Back, yeah. I feel like he just in the next three tossed. seconds we're going to see a kill oh, move. The F tilt. Next three seconds. One. Two. two and nope. All right, hey, rip the dream. Rip the dream. You know what? We don't. Let's see if we can we get. We don't any, shame uh, dreams here oh. at MCG. We don't shame dreams. We only try to support them. Oh, the back air is gonna take it. So we're gonna see that uh, kill move come out in the next 15 seconds instead. Very solid two stock from Puma. Definitely, definitely. not. Slim definitely not be able to hit. Not be able to hit with moves that would kill at a percentage like 100%. Fox definitely is middle weight, so something like a nicely charged uh, smash attack would kill at that percent. But we're not seeing Slim be able to make contact with any of those moves. Instead, is forced to just rack up damage as he goes along. Kuma definitely able to keep up the pressure, keep up the shield pressure, and able to just like go right. A cool thing Kuma does is he goes right out of shield into a combo setup move, mm -hmm. which is devastating. If you don't, if you don't see it coming, it is devastating to get hit by something like that. 
Fox's conversions are so good if you can land him. So right now, out the gate, um, yeah. got some solid hits from Slim. He's definitely going to get, need to get a lot more, and definitely, again, like we were, we've been saying, he definitely needs to hit a move that will kill. Mm -hmm. If you can't hit a move that will kill, it doesn't matter how much damage you rack up, you're just going to be sitting duck. And despite all the buffs Samus got last patch, you're seeing like Foxy just too fast, not letting her set up at all. Mm -hmm. See what we can get all of them. Sims' nope. up air and uh, back airs are very good kill moves. Um, I doubt we're going to see a lot of missile game we didn't see any last match mm. because of that because of that reflector. Mm. Uh, this is definitely not a matchup in Sims' favor to begin with because of the fact that there's a reflector. Mm. So, we will see though. Um, Kuma definitely trying to hit Samus where it hits her worst, which is close combat. Definitely the same, same as Mega Man with uh, Kuma's matchup against Mr. Ryan S. Yep. Definitely trying to hit the character where it hurts, and that's close range. Oh, definitely not letting him stop. Oh, that side beat. So Slim, sticking with what he knows, but unfortunately... Ooh, that was a good back air into the, oh. into the bomb. Ooh, that Kuma. shield is so small. A reflector would have Did it become back here? Oh, nope. No, no Up there no at that low won't do won't be a kill. Um, Kuma missing the punish on the ledge. He's not going for many zares either, see? Yep. Kuma kills the back air. So I'm definitely be able to keep some more pressure this time. Definitely trying to uh, pinpoint where Kuma's trying to hit him and compensate for oh. that. It's it's not looking good in some figure right now, though. He's, um, he's getting punished for all these whip grabs. He's getting, back. he's getting punished, and he's definitely in a low percentage where some combos will uh, chain into one another. So unfortunately for him, uh, with a character like Fox, who does use a lot of quick jabs and a lot of um, moves that come out quickly. Oh, Ooh, nice catch. Nice. That wasn't even fully charged. That wasn't fully charged. Uh, with how far off on the she was, that does kill. Well, that's me. That's uh, you. You're gonna be flying solo for a little bit. All right, that's fine by me. Good luck. We're joined by Hole on commentary right now. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I lost my matches. <laughs> nope. I'm still in a loose bracket right now. Uh, so we have Kuma versus Slim, and so right now Kuma definitely trying to keep the pressure up on Slim. Definitely, yeah. as we've seen um, in the past few matches. Ooh, that's got kill. That's a yeah, up, it was dead. That's an upbeat Over. kill. That we don't you don't really usually see them uh, out there for Fox. No, you don't. Know. But as I was saying, um, Fox versus a projectile heavy character like Samus. Samus is definitely in a disadvantage, not only because of the reflector from Fox, but also because of uh, Samus's heavy reliance on projectiles and on uh, her missile game and on her beam, uh, charge beam, which isn't smart to use against Fox uh, yeah. without playing ahead, or else you're gonna you're just gonna get, it's gonna well, be countered on you. Well, I would have to disagree because some people who've, I've played against Samus before, mm -hmm. they don't always sometimes they use do projectiles. Fistle. They, they do use fistle. a fistol or yep. a, or a constant grab spam. Yeah, um, I don't think we saw a single grab on Slim's Sick. part though. Yeah. We may have seen one or two, but again, you in a care in a match that's so high level as this, you want to try to use yeah. every attribute of your character as possible. And unfortunately for Samus, it's use she uses a mix of